Are you thinking of selling and want to know how to make a good impression on your potential buyers? Let's talk about 10 home selling points that buyers may be looking for in your home so that you don't waste time or money on things that buyers don't want. Stick around to the end to learn a tip that could transform rooms in your home into multifunctional spaces. I'm Megan Proper, a local realtor helping families buy and sell in Huron and Perth County. Starting from the top, we have the first thing that buyers will experience at their showing, which is your home's curb appeal. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So while your agent's getting the key from the lockbox, the buyers will have time to examine the yard, windows, front door, and the outbuildings. Make sure to clean up the yard, wash the windows, clean the door, sweep the steps, and groom and weed or mulch any of the gardens around the front of the house. If the outside of the house isn't well manicured, the clients may think that the homeowner didn't maintain the house. Number nine is location. Buyers are looking for conveniently located homes, factors including highways, school districts, high-speed internet, and amenities. Let's face it, most people have a lot of stuff, especially since we live in a place with four seasons to accommodate for. Buyers are looking for a garage big enough to store their car with an additional storage or workshop space. Even a small garden shed is a good addition to store lawnmowers, snowblowers, or children's goods like strollers, wagons, and bikes. I come from the culinary background, so it's exciting for me to talk about the importance of the kitchen. Food is something every single person on this earth has in common, and it's a natural place for families to gather. Buyers are looking for updated kitchens, good quality appliances, high-end countertops and floors, and ample storage. They're looking for a bright and airy, inviting space for daily life and entertaining special events. A few specific things to consider are deep double sinks with an attractive faucet, built-in garbage and recycling, and a walk-in pantry. When listing my seller's homes, I suggest clearing as much from the kitchen counter and table as possible to maximize the workspace. Most buyers are investigating the size of the primary bedroom and trying to envision if the space will accommodate their existing furniture. The bedroom also needs to have the right layout and feel. While walk-in closets aren't on the top of everyone's wish list, it is a large demand among second-time home buyers. If your house has one, be sure to declutter, organize, and showcase its maximum potential. If you have the means, update an existing reaching closet by installing an organization system complete with shelving units and hanging rods for clothes. The number of bathrooms in a house is very important, especially the location of them, specifically having an extra bathroom on the main floor for guests or having an ensuite. Buyers are looking for updated styling, neutral colors, and an attractive countertop and cabinets. A few quick fixes for your bathroom can be changing the paint color, faucet, and cabinet hardware. Many buyers are looking for basements for additional living space or the potential to be. They need room to store their things, give the kids a playroom, gym, or give dad that separate space to watch the big games. Functional laundry rooms are also attractive for buyers to keep dirty laundry away from guests. If your main level doesn't have the space to accommodate one, consider installing a nice laundry room in the basement. Cookie cutter homes are easier to find these days, and some buyers are looking for some more character and charm commonly found in older homes. Not everyone wants or needs a complete open concept home. If your home has an open floor plan, there are still ways to create separate living spaces. You can add an over the table lighting fixture or incorporate a tray ceiling to help define a particular area of the main living level. No matter the price point of the buyer, a house has to feel like home. I have many buyers that are looking to have more of a green thumb and seeking an additional backyard space to plant small gardens. That feeling of being wrapped up in a green oasis can be a huge selling point. So showcasing a tidy exterior space with ample lighting can help grab buyers' attention. Simplicity is sometimes better in these cases, so buyers can imagine their plans in the large space. Some ideas that are helpful can be motion sensor lights along the patio, stairs or walkways, fresh hanging plants, mulch, a fresh cut lawn, and staging your patio furniture. And my number one tip for selling points in your home is creating flexible spaces. With the price of living rising, buyers are more intentional with how they're spending their money, including compromising on smaller square footage homes. When getting your home ready to sell, seek out rooms that can be used in a multitude of ways. Help the buyer envision how an average bedroom could be used in one of two ways, such as installing a Murphy bed in a guest room so that it can be used as an office space or even a workout room as well. Another good example could be combining a mudroom and laundry space together as a transition room. Even consider installing a shower in there to keep any dirt out of your main living space. This could be great for farm families or trade jobs. Look up for my next video where I'm gonna share five ways to declutter your house faster when getting ready to sell. 
If you're looking for a free home evaluation or more specific tips on how to get your home sold, reach out to me and let's chat. You can find my contact information in the description below and I'm looking forward to helping you and your family get your home sold the proper way.